All right, we just had a major storm come through and now just showing you might have a problem here. We have a bunch of peach drift roses and we're gonna plant those in the back retaining wall area. Got some potting mix, got a few more super tunias and also Got some of these here. These are red drift roses for um, my mother-in-law's for Mother's Day. So that's got to go in the ground at her place. We're going to be planting more. Um, these are pink pugster um, butterfly bushes from Proven Winners. Pinks, uh, sorry, pugster pink. I've got pugster purple. And I'm going to put these two in some pots over on the other side where all the birds and butterfly stuff is anyway. And then probably put them in the ground next year maybe. There's more Super Tunia Vista. We gotta get those in the ground. Um, and hopefully those will trail over the uh, wall. We've got some Rose of Sharon's from Proven Winners. We got a taller one that gets, I think about eight to 10 feet tall and kind of stays narrow. These smaller ones here beside them, they get six or so feet high and about five feet wide. So they're a little bit smaller. Plant those in a, a trio. And let's see all the other stuff. I think everybody's already seen, but uh, anyways all this stuff has the is some of us in pots and kind of good to go other of it you see the rain just beat down everything i really really hope my peach drift tree over here is going to be okay all these massive blooms it could not handle all that water weight so i don't think anything that i can see right off the top of my head is snapped um but uh yep that's gonna have to be cleaned up looks like we'll be doing a video very soon of how to trim these roses to clean them up and deadhead them and all that good stuff because all these need to be cleaned up now. Just laid out a few more things here. So we've got some lantana. This is the yellow, should be perennial. And then a few more super bells. These are for some hanging baskets for Mother's Day. Um, that's going along with these red drift roses right here by mother in laws I also found this um, Superbina Sparkling Rose um, Verbena. So Superbina, I heard from Sanderlands when I picked up some of um, this stuff. I uh, picked up several different places, but Sanderlands told me that besides the bubblegum Supertunia Visas being her absolute favorite that she sells, she said the Superbina does really good from Proven Winners. So um, I'm going to try out a little bit of it. Got some more super bells here, yellow. And so anyway, all this stuff got to go somewhere in the ground. So let's get to it. Joy and Rapture. Look at that. That right there is, it won't focus, it doesn't look like. But those are some buds coming out. Finally. This thing is alive. I thought it was, but it was taking its dear sweet time, and the other one got quite a bit of head start on it. There you go, and those bright green leaves. All right, look at the damage done over here. Heavy, heavy rain. I think it's safe to say the first flush is pretty much done. Very pleased to say, however, the Sun Credibles all held up to the wind and rain so that's nice I say that hmm this one right here hope it didn't break it I don't think it did it was kind of rough though it looks a little bit beat up so this area here is where we're gonna put these drift roses peach drift you can see it's hard to tell in this picture right here, but they come in um, a peachy color, but they change colors about every two or three days when they first open up. So there's a lot of variation of color. That's the rose tree in the front that I've had some pictures of. I'll try to pop a picture of that on the video whenever I make this one. But all this right here, that's what we're doing. And we're going to put petunias in between them to hang over the edge. That's the plan for now.
So that's the plan right here to have nine peach drift roses lining the walls and may have to move those behind them but they, they're supposed to get tall enough that I think that they'll actually complement the drift roses. Drift roses might get tall enough taller faster but um, the white weddings will definitely get big. Some flowers are going to get fairly tall um, and then the mop heads right there the yellow ones there a little slower growing I think but uh, they're going to get a couple feet another couple feet on them so we'll just see how it goes and we've got these super tunia vistas between them i guess i'll probably unless i just want to change it up just randomly put something else right here and here on the end one more at least one more possibly two more or sorry another pair and then maybe another pair might put something different right here on this side just to kind of break it up and something different on the other side but one more probably right there i guess definitely so just coming along now to dig some holes, but it's starting to rain again. So I might have to go in and see if the weather is going to cooperate. Good morning, everybody. Chad here. Well, today we're going to be digging holes. Going to put holes down in the ground here for these peach drift and also these petunias and also these lantanas. So what I'm going to do is after I dig the hole, I'm probably going to remove that weed barrier that's uh, up under there get that out the way and then we're going to put some either um, starter tone or we're going to put some rose tone in the roses and starter tone with the petunias and then they should be good to go and then water them in so that's the plan right now is to dig all of these nine peach drifts and then all of the petunias and some lantana all right here we go
Alrighty, we got some lantan in the ground. About to try to put this uh, Goshi in the ground, except there are some rocks down there in the hole I'm trying to dig. So I think it might be okay. There's enough space to get around the rocks with the roots. But let's show you what we've done so far. And this will probably be the end of this video, possibly. We've got our lantana here. Finally making our way over into the blank area. There's our bird cages. <laughs> they're hanging sideways. Well, actually, they're hanging straight down. The post is hanging sideways, but that stump under the ground is holding the whole thing up. We got heavy, heavy rains. There's our rows of sharons. We're going to put those kind of in those corners, I think. And here is our peach drifts. Super Tunia Vista bubblegum petunias from Proven Winners. Most of this stuff came from Greenbrier Nursery, if you're local. They had lots of peach drifts, so I bought nine of them. They had a few left. And they have a pretty good selection of some other stuff, too. But, uh, so that's where we started the new stuff here. Something ate my Sun Credible Sunflowers, the very top ones, probably a rabbit. But, you can see the other ones over here you can see over there they are starting to bloom that makes me excited look at here already branching out have a few ones going to open up in a few days how pretty 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 that one's missing some stuff like i said we got torrential downpours for two days you see there's some bit right off the top stinking rabbits and this is some damage to uh all the blooms from the rains and they're a little flattened but they'll pop back up butterfly bushes are really starting to come to life look at that how exciting still haven't put these uh tied them up but i need to we got some new growth coming on not nice new growth too more butterfly bushes so anyways that's where we're at today i was going to put these in pots more butterfly bushes different uh, color i think these are pink those are purple or vice versa but i'm thinking of putting those right here right over there after that bigger butterfly bush kind of at the corner and that way i'll have a different color from all these other small ones so anyways if you enjoyed this video hit that like button we'll have some more very very soon as we keep on planting and tying up some roses and doing some other stuff and then hopefully going to the land at some point talk to y'all later have a great day Bye bye